If River Bend is the biggest event of the summer in Chattanooga, then the Baylor Macaulay football game might be the biggest event of the fall in Chattanooga. The annual rivalry draws thousands of fans, including some 15,000 plus one year at Finley Stadium. Well, I know which one I'm looking more forward <laughs> to, and the rivalry is now back on campus, and Baylor was hoping their home field advantage might help them snap the six game losing streak against their crosstown rivals. Spoiler alert, it played a pretty decent factor in trying to end that losing streak to Macaulay. 14 10 Macaulay leads. Tyrio Price finds a hole, breaks an arm tackle. You think he's going to go the distance, but track town from behind on the diving tackle. A few plays later, Price would not be stopped until he reaches the painted grass inside the pylon. 20 to 10 Macaulay leads. Second half now. 20 to 17 Macaulay Jay St. Hilaire out to Carson Gentle for a fresh set of downs and a whole lot more. And that continuing on later in the drive, St. Hilaire QB keeper for six. It's a 10 point ball game in favor of Macaulay 27 to 17. Fourth, now we head to a punt, and it looks like this might just keep the momentum going as Andre De Leones fields it on a hop down the sidelines and then goes flipping through the air just like Andrew Harris when he finds that beautiful card again. But <laughs> then everything would go awry. Marcio Collins, the senior lineman, gets the ball and takes it to the house 27-14 and the Baylor student section is going absolutely nuts. They're just loving it, trying to pump their, student, their players on and then it ends up going to McCauley looking for an answer and it looks like they'll get just that. But Cameron Sparks punches the ball out from behind in and out of the back of the end zone. Baylor ball, Whit Muschamp to Amari Jefferson. He would cut inside and he is gone and all the Baylor sidelines is going to rush down with him. 31 to 24, Baylor's first lead of the game and some prayers. Now let's take a moment and under three minutes, fourth and nine, McCauley fails to convert incomplete pass and the streak is over at six. Baylor wins 31 to 27 and coach Eric Kimry is now 1-0 against McCauley while he's at Baylor.